yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. Sound check. G'day and welcome back to another vocal analysis here at Voice Essentials. My name is Dr. Dan and today we are reviewing the incredible voice of Lara Fabian. And she is doing a song that I am very familiar with, not because of Lara's performance, which we're going to review. In fact, up until someone recommending I have a look at this, I'd never heard Lara sing this song. Now that's interesting because Lara wrote this song. Uh, this is called Broken Vow. I, I first heard this performed uh, and recorded by Josh Groban another fabulous singer. It's been such a discovery to find the songwriter herself singing this tune. Uh, this is from the concert from Lara with Love. She did this live uh, TV recording back in late 1999. If I'm getting that wrong, I'm sure you'll correct me. It is going to give us an opportunity to, to have a talk about things like vowel shaping, mic technique, stage presence, it's all there, so let's dive in and uh, have a watch of this. Remembering that this is an educational channel, so we're going to be talking about a whole range of things through the lens of learning to sing, and this is a real lesson in just that. I'm, I'm really envious of how she got to sit in that orchestration for a moment. Um, I've uh, generally either done this with a, uh, a pianist accompanying me or a backing track. And the backing track I use doesn't have that extended orchestration at the beginning. It, it very much, you know, launches the singer into the moment. Secondly, can I, can I let you know that there are very few songs that I have sung personally like Broken Vow. The writing of this song, and Lara is the writer, the writing of this song is second to none. There are very few songs that stop traffic, and I, I, I use that terminology very specifically. Whenever I sing this song, and I've sung this song in a lot of different scenarios, little, a lot of different venues. I remember one venue, I was singing it in a, a big supermarket sort of um, mall. It stopped traffic. Not because of me, because I've been singing there for, you know, half an hour. It's the song. There is something in this song. As we go along, I want you to be captivated by the song. And take an opportunity at the end. I'll leave a, a note in the description section below, a link to this performance so you just can have a listen to it from beginning to end there's something about it i don't know what it is and like i say there's very few songs i've sung that do that but this song has it I need to see your face. I need to understand why you That's not actually a written melody point. She's just put that in. That's lovely. It's just it just creates a little bit of variation in in the melodic line. the The story of this song is one of betrayal. Um, it's one of forgiveness. I've never sung it as if it's a song then of reconciliation. It's a it's a song that has the two individuals parting ways with forgiveness in place. 
and and Lara does a beautiful job of communicating the tension of that that the forgiveness is in play but the reconciliation is is in question Just hear how she floats, floats that note. One of the challenges of this piece is it wants to get big on you. It wants, it wants to escalate quickly because of the, the intensity of emotion within it. But you've, you, you can't, you can't let it get too big too quick because if, if you do, by the time you get to the climax, it'll be too, too much. Um, and so you've got to really b contain it and restrain it from from building. Have a listen to how she does that by by floating that top note um, in this melody line into her upper register. She doesn't let it get too big, so she, there's no belt in this point yet. Have a look at the way she shapes her whole phrase, the vowel, the way she just applies consonants in a manner that just gives us that articulatory feature without being overbearing. It, it continues her core tone. <laughs> she applies that little bit of breathiness to the commencement of that phrase have a listen to that because it just just textures it just slightly to give us that lovely almost like a, a soft onset into the phrase here it is oh, lovely little D there Set. Just at the end. Tell me the words I never said. Show me the tears you never shed. Give Again. me the touch that's one you brought. <laughs> Love it. Shed. Give me the touch that's one you yeah. promised. To A little bit of angst. Yeah. Really good. Has it vanished for all time? I let you go. I let you fly. Why you do what I strings are beautiful. keep on asking why? I let you go. Her body alignment's really interesting. She really braces from the midriff. She really has this sense of being activated through the core have a watch at how it it kind of 
causes her to to bend and kind of not Constantina. She's not she's not you know over bent, but you really get a sense that the voice is being driven from quite low. Yes, 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 yes. That movement into da 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 is really, really good. Like, and it's so connected. She doesn't l launch at it or lurch at it. She just feeds into it. There's a real continuous line. She knows exactly where she's going with that line. glottal strokes in her onsets to great effect. They're not overdone, they're not heavy, they just give us that little bit of textural um, highlight for the commencement of some of those moments where she's tr wanting to uh, explore and express emotion and she does it so effectively. Have a listen to that onset just there. What did we hear there? I'm not sure what, I'm going to listen to it again because I didn't quite know that I'd heard what I think I heard. Have a listen. Over the tops. Oh, we do get a li just the tiniest little, little bit of uh, breath intake squeak. Another singer who I'm immediately, it brings to mind is uh, Morissette. Morissette's quite intentional in her use of that effect. It's just, just gives this little squeak over the top and it's just a lovely little highlight moment. Have a listen again, just to make sure that I'm, I'm actually hearing that correctly. I close my eyes and dream of you. vocal lines that she chooses to put in there. Now this is an interesting little tool. Notice how she just walks back there, just in the... What's really, really interesting is she could have chosen to just stand there. It's a very short moment, but for some reason, her whether her she's been directed to or she's making the choice, she chooses to walk back, turn her back on the audience, allow the instrumentation to take place, and then she's coming back. It's it's interesting. Let me know in the comments um, the comments section below what you think of that little moment, because when I when I see that I I'm I'm left going. I wonder. I don't. And it's not a bad thing. It's not right, wrong, or indifferent. I'm just. It, it's just really interesting choice uh, from a directional point of view. She goes, turns, walks back. Looks at the, the orchestra and back. She almost swallows the mic at that point. <laughs> like she really gets down and around the capsule, and it's all breath. It's it's interesting, isn't it? Have a listen. Have a have a watch of what how she. Like she's eating the mic, it, and but it's all it's all air. So it's very clever mic technique. She knows what she's doing, 
and it's by choice. It's not she's not just stumbled into nearly choking on the mic. It's it's intentional and it's really ah. Oh. That's a lovely, lovely view of the way she shapes her mouth and really manages her vowel and her pitch as a result. And you can see the work that the lips and the internals of the mouth are doing there. It's really good. Shaping it. I find that I find that particular line really interesting. It's it's very Celine Dionish in the in the tonal shape. I'm not suggesting that Lara is trying to copy Celine. It just reminds me of Celine's positioning, which we hear really regularly in Celine Dion's voice. It's just a moment in time in Lara's performance here, but it's just an interesting little feature. Deal. <laughs> and, the and, and the performance by the performer is deserving of that. It's there's something in that song as well, and it's such a delight to have been able to watch the songwriter sing that song, being the song that is it is Broken Vow. Again, I encourage you to go and have a watch of it beginning to end, and really travel the journey of that piece uninterrupted it's for me one of the most beautifully written ballads of, of recent time it, it's gorgeous and and lara fabian was gorgeous i i dare say we'll find ourselves reviewing some more of her in the future uh i hope you've enjoyed today's vocal analysis uh please leave the video a thumbs up if you you did and Make sure you check out more because we do these vocal analyses every week and uh, very much hoping you'll uh, engage with them, comment on them, like them, subscribe to the channel. You know everything to do. I very much look forward to seeing you in the next vocal analysis video. I'm Dr. Dan. Sing well. <laughs>